and welcome to Imagination, my channel where we delve into everything that is all about AI. So you would like to learn a little bit more about AI. Well, let's start today with a program that's called Leonardo AI. This video was done for a dear friend. Now, in order to create my finished result that I'm going to show you, I will be using a few different programs to do it. The links will be in the drop down, so don't forget to look down there. So to get started, let's go to Leonardo.ai where you see me at now. Okay, you're going to want to create a free account if you don't already have one. I have one, so I would obviously click start using Leonardo and I'm already whitelisted. But we're going to skip that because I'm already here and logged in. If it will respond to me. And if it will respond. <laughs> You have to bear with me since I'm recording. The computer is being just a little bit slow. Okay, so uh, where did it put me? Put me in the AI generations. There we go. All right, so I'm into my own Leonardo AI, and I've already created what I wanted to use for today's project. If you need inspiration, it's where you would go naturally to chat GBT to look for inspiration or ideas. Um, we've already got our inspiration. We've already got our project already made. Normally I use DreamShaper V7 to create all of my stuff. As you can see, my phone is blowing up. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ignore them for right now. Anyway, uh, not always do I use it, but most of the time I do. You will find what works best for you. Okay, once you find out what you like, then you stick with that. Uh, it all really depends on what you're making. So you, you need to know what you're making first so that you know kind of what uh, style you're going to be looking for. Okay, so if you scroll through, you'll find uh, um, all the different things that I've made, just some of the, the most recent things, and you will see some things don't really white turn out like they're supposed to. As you can see, there are fingers everywhere that are not supposed to be fingers. Um, you will see similar things that other people have made uh, or that you yourself have made. Of course, the prompt that was made when it was created, the size, resolution, things like that. Um, what I've already created, you have to forgive me, I've got cats everywhere. What I've already created is way down here, oh, 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 right here. Okay, so what we're going to use today is a beautiful enchanting goth fairy. Okay, it's very simple uh, prompt. You do not need to enter Imagine like you would for Mid Journey. Okay, so you just would type beautiful enchanting goth fairy, comma expressive eyes, comma beautiful wings, comma attractive, comma mesmerizing, comma. And then you would put, you know, if you wanted it on a white background, things like that. Um, I used V6 when this was going about because V7 wasn't around yet, of course. Uh, the prompt magic was four at the time that I used it. And the strength was four and it was prompt magic version two. I made it 768 by 1024. Of course, I upscaled it after I made it. But anyway, we made, I made two of them. Um, this one and that one. Okay, and then I took them and I wanted to tube them, so we took them over to Photo Room. And when you take them to Photo Room, then you would go to Free Tools, Remove Background, and you would simply drag and drop your original into there, let it do its magic. It's going to remove the background for you if you do need to fine tune it. I usually drag mine into Adobe to fine tune and, and remove anything that the photo room does not remove. It usually doesn't take long, usually less than 60 seconds. Um, like I said, my computer is being very slow. There we go. You would download, save it to your computer. I've already got it open in Adobe Photoshop. This is the original. Let me zoom out so that you can see. Um, let me one second so that you can see what I'm doing here. Um, one second. There we go. Now you can see. Okay. So I'm in Adobe Photoshop. This is the original. Okay. Now, 
she, uh, I don't believe, yes I did, actually, whoops, my bad, I am so sorry, I did not mean to do that, there we go, I do believe I already upscaled her, so let's undo and undo, alright, so, here we go, here is the original, alright, so what I do, when I get them into Adobe Photoshop is I will upscale and I will add an effect, a filter, so to speak. This is something that I've already created an action for because it's something that I do for my Etsy things. Um, because if you will look, the image size, and it's not showing the drop down, but uh, the image size is 768 by 1024 and the resolution is 72. Well, I don't like that. It's too small. And the resolution is just too shoddy, a quality. Okay, so you really want it 300 resolution, uh, 300 DPI, 300 pixels per inch. Okay, so, and I wish that you could see, for some reason you cannot see my drop downs, but uh, I'll talk you through it all. So I created the action, um, it's going to upscale for me, and I'm just going to hit play, and it's going to increase the size and add the filter. So basically, as you can see, it has made it a lot bigger and she's a lot um, prettier, if you ask me. Uh, things are softer, more human, so to speak. So let me zoom out just a bit, okay? And what it is, is you would go up you're going to look at image size now. She's 2000 by 2667 at 300 resolution. Okay. And then you would go to filter. Um, to normally add this by hand. You would go to stylize. And then oil paint. To add it. Okay. So. And then this one. As you can see. I have added the eyeshadow and the lipstick. And it's easy fix to do that. You're going to want to go to your color replacement tool, click on that, and you're going to want to get as close as you can to whatever you're wanting to color, to add color to, okay? So if you hit Z, that's automatically going to put you on your zoom. So hit your mouse as close, get as close as you can to it. Click whatever color you want. So say you want to put it, put it on pink. Well, oops, I forgot to put it back on color replacement. My apologies. Put it back on color replacement and then put pink on there okay so as you can see it just changes the color and it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect but you're going to want it to look good so you may have to zoom out and take a peek at it and see what it looks like see and then of course you know to undo it there easy peasy go back to zoom zoom back out Add it to the lips. Add it to whatever you think would look good. If you want to change the, the earring color a little bit, you know, or whatever. Um, the eye color is common. You could um, say you have a gradient that has a little sparkle in it. A little bit of glitter. You could add that in there, you know. It, it's basically, it's whatever you want to do. Okay. So, once you get that done and you get it to your liking, then you're done. And your tube is beautifully done. And it was really just a few simple steps. And AI did it all, except for the little touch-ups that you made to where it made it unique. It made it yours. You put your own stamp onto it. So it's ready to simply export as a PNG. And you save it to your computer, and you are simply done. If you found this useful, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.